it is that time of year. Our mountains bursting with brilliant yellows, oranges, and reds as the leaves change color. Yeah, this is making the mountains a destination for photographers and sightseers alike. But that not only brings traffic, also some parking problems with it. Law enforcement tell your reporter the mountain, Spencer Wilson, it has been a real mess this year. Just from my own personal experience this last weekend, we watched somebody drive down a residential street, standing out of the top of a Jeep, going five miles an hour and snapping photos, all while people were trying to get by them. It's that kind of behavior, along with parking in the wrong spot on some of these rural roads, that the Sheriff's Office is trying to curb while making sure that everyone still feels welcome. Who can blame the leaf peepers? The stunning yellows are enough to draw anyone out to snap a picture, myself included. But when cars start parking along rural roads in Summit County where they shouldn't be, it makes it a nightmare for crews to get around them when there's an emergency. We respond onto the trails all the time, uh, from anything from cardiac arrest to a sprained ankle and really anything in between. And so any sort of illegal parking just prevents us from getting there quickly. And the problem is it's a compounding issue. Well, it's like a snowball, like a snowball before winter even comes. So. The more people that are in town, the more uh, likely it is that we need to respond to some sort of an emergency incident, and also the more likely that the roads are blocked. The total number of parking tickets the Summit County Sheriff's Office gave out this last month was 33, about half of those in the last two weeks. And while that may not seem like a ton, the Sheriff's Office says it's trying to clear roads more than it's trying to give out tickets. So that doesn't represent the whole picture. Oftentimes people will see an officer or a deputy show up and start writing a ticket and they'll all come running out of the woods and move their car. And at the end of the day, maybe we wrote one ticket, but we had the effect that we're looking for. So while the leaf peeping might be mostly done in Summit County for this year, keep it in mind for next year. Plan ahead and be smart about where you park. The sheriff's office also suggested parking in town, but then either taking a shuttle or riding a bike or even looking for additional locations that are less well known to spread out. Really make sure that you're not crowding some of these rural areas that a lot of people already know about. Great way to get your leaf peeping on while doing it without making a fuss for the local community. In Summit County, Spencer Wilson covering Colorado first. Well, we can be grateful for one thing and not having too much rain is that the leaves are still around so people can still take advantage. Yeah, we had we had quite a bit of rain at the beginning of the middle of the summer mm -hmm. and that really helped the trees to get healthy. So this has really been one of the best seasons uh, in a long time for the colors out there. This is Caribou Mountain. Matt Vopter sent this one and this was just a couple of days ago. So it's still looking good, even though northern Colorado is pretty much about a week or two past the peak here. Southern Colorado still is catching up here. But anywhere you go, good picks.